Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.24 a.m. on March the 6th, Monday, March the 6th. And I'm going to do a chit chat, get ready with me-ish, but let me tell you what's already on my face since I've already put on my primer. The primer I used today was the Boots Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Base Stop Shine for a matte finish and improves blemishes. It has salicylic acid in it. I love this primer. Um, it's a great drugstore mattifying primer that really does help your makeup last all day and prevents your oils from breaking through. And I also love that it can help with breakouts since I am experiencing um, some breakouts as of late, which I hope they go away. They, I don't know if they're stress related or what, but that's the primer I have on. The foundation I'm wearing is the CoverGirl Queen All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation with broad spectrum SPF 20 and I'm wearing the shade sheer espresso this is gonna have the all-day flawless coverage lasting power of a powder coverage of a concealer and blendability of a foundation in one shine free specifically designed for darker skin tones I love this foundation it is an old faithful that I've been using since I was in college I think I discovered this like my sophomore year of college Love this. Pulled it out today because I needed something really long lasting. Um, because I'm going to lacrosse game after work to support my boyfriend, who is a lacrosse coach. So yeah, that's one of the updates is that I have a boyfriend. Never really thought that would happen so soon and quickly after moving here, but you know, God works in mysterious ways. So what I used to set this foundation, which I'm just getting the excess powder from the outside of the packaging off. What I used to set my foundation is one of my new all-time favorite powders from LA Girl. This is the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. I love this stuff. It is only $4.99 on IK House. I just ordered six more of these, so I never run out. And this is in the shade Chestnut which is the next to last darker shade. Yeah, chestnut. Let me open it up. I've already hit pan on this one. This is the first one I ever got. Yeah, love this stuff. It's awesome. Super duper 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 awesome. Love it. And it really does match my skin perfectly. Matches me so good. So yeah, that's what I already have on. Let's go ahead and move on to highlighting so today for highlight I'm just gonna go into one of my favorite goodness gracious I'm dropping stuff all over the place into one of my favorite palettes for highlighting sorry guys I dropped my soap and it fell onto where I have my camera not camera but light set up and now I have got black soap everywhere on my hand let me clean this up real quick. Y'all know the deal. Raw, real, and unedited. You get to see all the bloopers, the mistakes. Live. Okay. So I've got that. The important part of it taken care of. Alright. So I'm going to go into one of my favorite palettes for highlighting. And that is the Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics palette. I love this palette. I love the highlighters. The eyeshadows are okay. I don't feel like they're really catered toward deeper skin tones. I can use most of them, but I'm here for the highlighters. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. blush brush. You already know the deal to apply this to my cheeks. And I'm going to use the gold shade, this one. I normally like to use that one, but I'm going to use the golden one today. I'm just going to sweep this right onto the cheekbones for a nice glow. I'm not going for an extreme glow. We're going for more of a natural-ish glow, subtle glow. I'm not going to go in like I normally do. And we're going to put a little bit right in this area above the brow. And 
And then we're going to go back in and really concentrate on the brow. I really like my brow bone to really be highlighted, even though I get oily there. I don't know, I just feel like it looks really pretty. All right, so that is the sides of my face. Now we're gonna do the center of my face. And I like to use this Coastal Scents little flat top ankle brush to get the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm trying to debate if I'm gonna take my hair down out of these twists or if I'm going to wear a head wrap today. Maybe I'll do my hair on camera too, or maybe I'll make a separate video, we'll see. I'll make a separate video so then I can go get my tea. I have some tea that is steeping right now. So I'll show the takedown process of a twist out, two strand twist out that I um, did last night, that I twisted last night, and this will be day one of you wearing it. All right, so you can see that this uh, highlighter is Awesome, and now I'm just going to go over my whole face with my beauty blender that I used to apply my foundation. It is dampened and it has still has a little bit of foundation on it. And this just helps to mesh everything with my skin, get rid of the powdery look, all those things. It just helps everything come together. So now we're done with the skin. We're going to move on to brows and you guys already know the deal what I've been loving and using for my brows for I don't know the past however long maybe 2017 I don't think I'm going to change my brow product up at all because I love the results that I get with this wet and wild mega last retractable eyeliner in black it's just a roll up crown eyeliner and I love it for my brows my skin is looking very 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 matte which is fine for now I don't really like my skin to be this matte like I'm looking like zero shine or luminosity in my skin but I know that as the day goes on when my oil start to break through it's gonna look even better so So I prefer this kind of super duper matte look at first because I know that when my oils start to break through, I don't have to worry. It will go from looking super duper matte and unnatural kind of, well I don't say unnatural, but just super matte to looking more skin-like, but without becoming, without becoming oily, excessively oily. Yeah, I have some green tea steeping. I need to get some tea today. I'm trying to think about what I need to pick up from Walmart because I normally go to Walmart Monday after school. Every Monday after school, I go to Walmart so that I can meal prep for the rest of the week. Yeah, I've kind of gotten a routine down, which makes me happy. Because then I feel like I'm being really productive because I can get more done when I have a set schedule. And I can make time for everything that's going on in my life, you know, especially with my boyfriend being in season as a coach. I like to support him at his games, you know, even though I'm not really into sports like that but I will say lacrosse is a very entertaining sport to watch especially when you don't know the rules so it's like I'm trying to figure it out as I'm watching it it's just entertaining it's pretty neat sport to watch and I just get to see him being a leader of young men and I, that makes me happy inside 
that he does that, that he's a coach. Because it's kind of similar to when I was a marching band instructor. I was a coach for my, you know, my band people. For my little group of band kids that I had. Which I miss that school so much. I miss working there so much. I miss my bosses. Like, just super amazing environment. Like, could not have been any more perfect for me during my last year and a half of college. Like, I'm so thankful for that experience and that relationship that I got to build with those band directors there. Truly some of the most outstanding individuals I've ever had the chance to work for and meet and temporarily live with. Other than my parents, of course, you know, you guys know I love my parents, but they're like my parents, my band of parents. All right, so you see the brows are on. I really like this pencil. Like, I feel like it looks very natural in person. It's easy to use, it's fast, it's quick. It's one product and done with the brows because y'all know I don't do all that concealing and all that stuff. I keep it rather simple, I feel like, with my makeup. I don't feel like you have to do a whole bunch of steps to get similar looks. All right, so. The base part of my face is done, so we can move on to the eyes. And for eyes today, because I love Jackie Ina and she's releasing a brush collection, which I plan to buy. My first time ever buying Sigma brushes, but I've been wanting to get new brushes and I think I'm gonna get her collection. I got a few more e.l.f. brushes. I think if I buy her collection, the e.l.f. brushes, and then maybe one more full set of brushes from like BH Cosmetics or um, Coastal Scents, then I'll be good with brushes for the next four or five years, however long I've had these ones. And I can start to sifter and cycle some of my older ones out of rotation that kind of need to be laid to rest. Alright, so for eyes, like I said, I'm going to use the Jackie Ina and Elf collaboration palette. We're going to do a very natural eye look. This is what the colors look like. You guys have seen me use this before. And like I said, I've been into matte eyes as of late. So I think we're going to do a matte eye look using this. So let's start with the crease. Well, what do I want to use in my crease? Hmm. No, I don't want to do that. Let's start with the lid color. So on my lid, I'm going to use this taupe shade right there. And I'm using a Coastal Scents brush to apply this shade to my lid. It's like a taupey kind of grayish color. And it is matte. Y'all see that it's looking real light on my eyelid, which is what I want. This is what's going to highlight the lid area before we go in with the crease color. And I'm debating doing a pop of color on the bottom lash line. Maybe on the upper lash line. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. You know how I feel, birds. You're into the sky, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. For me, and I'm feeling good. Yeah, that's definitely not the uh, right, probably not all of the right words, not the right melody, but I love when Nina. Simone sing that song. 
All right, so we have that light color applied all over our lid. I'm gonna take a another Coastal Sense brush and kind of just blend the edges of this out with no product on it yet. Just so that I don't look totally crazy. And now I'm gonna go into the deep brown shade right here and use that to deepen up the outer V area and in my crease a little bit. And this shade is so perfect for defining the eyes without being too deep. It's like just deep enough. Really it's like the perfect brown. Hopefully y'all can see this magic that's happening. Look at this eyeshadow, it's super awesome. We'll go on with the pop of color on the bottom lash line. I'm feeling a little adventurous, I guess that's the word today. I don't know, I've been really into neutral looks and matte eyeshadow looks, really simple matte eyeshadow looks as of late and neutral lips. Like I have not been into color or really shimmer on my lids at all, which is so opposite. Excuse my neighbors above me. I just flushed their toilet. Okay. So you saw I just blended that into the crease and onto the outer V area, this deeper brown shade. Like so. Really simple matte eye look using two eyeshadows for my upper lids. Now we're going to start to work on the bottom lash line after I do a little bit more blending. There we go. On the lower lash line, we're gonna go on with the greenish teal shade right here. Um, the school that, so we're saying my boyfriend is still so fresh and new, it happened on Saturday, that he coaches for their color is green. So we'll use this kind of tealish green color. This is also a great color to bring out brown eyes. So, it also enhances my eye color. I'm just smoking that on the bottom lash line using a, another Coastal Sense brush. This is one I normally use for my inner tear duct area. And I'm really kind of just smoking that out, smudging it onto the bottom lash line. Adds a really nice pop of color. That's really pretty. All right. So that is the eyeshadow using this palette. Now I'm just gonna highlight my inner corners. And what I'm going to use is the highlighter that I used on my face. So I'm not gonna use any new eyeshadows. Yeah, I really like that with the green on the bottom lash line. I'm really loving this. And it's also a matte shadow. But for my inner corners, I am gonna highlight with the same highlighter I used on my face from the Kali Bible palette. The gold one right here. And I'm gonna use the same brush. I just wiped it off. I'm just going to apply that right into the tear duct inner corner area. So this is going to be the only sort of shimmer that's on my eyes. Now that I've added, I kind of don't like the way it looks, but 
it'll probably get rubbed away if my eyes start to water. Uh, I kind of like it. That's okay. All right. I'm not going to do any eyeliner. I've kind of been eh, back and forth about eyeliner. We're just going to add mascara. And the mascara I'm going to put on is going to be... I don't feel like my eyes are that watery today, so we're not going to do waterproof. We're going to go on with the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara in Very Black or Black is Black. Very Black. I love this mascara. It's pretty awesome. I love the way this eye look came out. I'm just going to apply this carefully and generously to my lashes, upper and lower. I really like the way this look came out. I think that's so pretty. Don't you guys think so? And that palette, I believe, was $6.99 when it came out. It was not. It was less than $10. Like $6.99, $7.99, $8.99, something like that. But I'm excited to get her brush set with Sigma. I just hope it's not too much because your girl's trying to save money. But I really do need a few more brushes. My brushes are very old. As you can see, this mascara builds really nice, and you can really lengthen and voluminize your lashes with it. I feel like the first coat does more lengthening, and then when you add the second coat, it, second coat, it does more voluminizing. Y'all see these lashes? All right, gonna add some to the lower lash line, or the lower lashes. And this brush is so great for doing your lower lashes because of how small the bristles are. In addition to recently um, entering into a relationship and you know becoming someone's girlfriend and him becoming my boyfriend, I also decided on a church home. And I will be going to the Hilton Head Church of Christ. And I guess I should place membership. I haven't really, I don't really place membership at churches. Like, I just show up. Like, if I'm there, then obviously I feel like I'm a member. But I guess they want to, like, have a record and, like, put me in the, you know, the, not the phone book. But what is it called? The, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The, like, book of all the members with your phone number, your contact information and stuff. So, I think... After going there for another week or so, I guess I'll officially place membership. I don't know. I feel like I need to place membership to like be a part of the congregation. Like I already feel like I am. Especially after fellowshipping with them and like having meals with them and really talking to the people outside of the church building. I have really grown to like that congregation a lot and feel like it is a good fit for me and I love the preacher's wife geez I love her she's awesome again this is Hilton Head Church of Christ if you live near me in this area like she's just phenomenal like she's just so I don't want to say like human like she's just real like she's not trying to be all perfect and prim and prime she's just herself like she's just real and hilarious she's hilarious and honest and and she just makes you feel welcomed and she makes you feel cared about she makes you feel like you matter there we go and not all people have that ability I don't feel so 
so yeah, that's the church I've decided to attend. It is a 35 minute drive for me to get there. So I do struggle with being on time, but I'm gonna try to get better at that. I just need to wake up earlier, but I'm tired on Saturday nights because that's when Brian and I usually hang out. Brian is my boyfriend. So yeah, that's when we normally hang out. Saturdays. Because usually he has games on Saturdays and we'll go to lunch after the game and then just chill all day. Because we feel pretty tired and lazy. Because we're both teachers. So. Yeah. Dating as an adult adult is weird. But it's been nice though because, you know, when you have a full-time job and stuff, you're not out here trying to waste anybody's time. It's like... You're just straightforward, like, yeah, I like you, let's be together, boom. <laughs> We're not out here trying to waste anybody's time, so that's been nice. All right, so my lashes are all mascara up. They look really nice. I really like the way this eye look came out. Lastly is lips, and like I said, I've been loving nude lips. And I think the nude lipstick I'm going to wear today is crazy for coffee. Do I want to wear this one? Or do I want to wear Untainted Spice? Or Maple Kiss? Let's see what Maple Kiss is looking like. Yeah, I'm going to wear Maple Kiss today. This is a Maybelline lipstick. It looks like this. It's really pretty. Oh, my lips are kind of dry. So it's like a nudie kind of peachish color. It's really pretty. I think that goes well with the lower lash line. Like those really complement each other. These two colors. The lip and the green. See, this is nude peach on my lips. From Maybelline. Ooh, my lips are so dry. Ugh, I need to get this dead skin off. It's bothering me. All right. So this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you like it. Do you like this color combination? Do you like this look created with all drugstore products? Let me know what you guys want to see down below. Again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And just continue to pray for me as I go on this journey of, you know, still becoming a teacher and like figuring out who I am as an educator and just adjusting to being a full-time music teacher and um you know just pray for me in this new relationship you know just discernment and guidance and just that I continue to put God first and to seek him in all that I do and that I do not lose track of that because that is the main thing that I really have been working hard on in my life so yeah, again, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update about a uh, boyfriend and about the church I'm going to. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you want to see. Please let me know what you want to see because your girl's running out of ideas. So yeah, let me know down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.